What's up guys and gals? Go live here with our last interview for Castle Point. It has been a great con. It's now a two-day con, but Goliath is getting tired and really burned out, guys. So we're gonna close up with Maleficent, Ursula. I can't even look at that direction. It scares the hell out of me. <laughs> so as you guys know, I'm Goliath, and this is... Maleficent. Ursula. And... Ryan. Okay. <laughs> and as you guys can see, their cosplays are breathtaking. The look at these, you've got full tentacles, full staff, crow, horns, I mean, the trident, you got you got everything. It's it's amazing, the face makeup, this body paint must have taken forever. So tell us guys a little bit about your your procedure. Like what made you guys decide to scare the fans of cosplay? <laughs> of mental strength, courage, determination, wink, and time, especially. Uh, well, I mean, I just, I love cosplay and anime, and I'm a fashion major, so I just figure the bigger the better, you know? Like, I, I want to up myself every time I cosplay. And then I love Oogie Boogie, and then when I met her, she's been like the biggest, she makes the costume, so it's been, I've been able to do stuff like this. That is awesome. That is really, I mean, I'm just looking at the hours upon days upon months of work. I mean, the staff alone is breathtaking. This is so nice. How long have each of you guys been cosplaying and what made you get into it originally? So, I've been cosplaying for about two years now and I'd be nothing without my best friend Ursula here. And without her, I, uh, at first I actually was against it, shockingly. I was, I was very scared and it was just all mental stuff, but thanks to her, now I'm Luxon. <laughs> uh, I got into cosplay probably about five years ago. Um, it started out in college, and I don't know, it's just grown from there. So I love it every second of it. <laughs> I've like always wanted to get into cosplay. Unfortunately, I never got a chance to uh, due to budgeting and everything like that. But a year ago at Anime Next, um, this one opened me up into actually getting into cosplay and like showing me how to do things she makes she's been developing all the stuff for me to help me out so the poor unfortunate souls and Ursula is the ringleader yeah <laughs> got it so the evil queen strikes again and probably is the oldest one here <laughs> um, all right so I mean what do you guys think of Castle Point since they moved their venue do you guys think it's great some I've heard good and bad about it like what do you think it's better that they came here or would you guys like to um, say back at the college Given the current circumstances, it's really nice that we're indoors today because it's really messy outside. But at the same time, it would have been nice to be able to walk around and go to college. But I'm fine with where we are. Just got his convention and it wasn't canceled. I think the change was necessary just because of how many people have been showing up to Castle Point. I do miss the location, it being outdoors, but um, I think give this another like year or two and They'll, they'll be able to develop something nice. It's my first year here, so I, I don't know. I've seen pictures of it last year. I can tell you, it's a good thing it's here because of the weather right now. <laughs> that is cool. That is cool. So, do you want to let our fans know about any possible social media sites? Do you all have a Twitter together, a Tumblr, or is it more Ursula rules the social media? <laughs> yes, check out Sal Ghoul at Instagram. Uh, Giselle, G-I-S-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, underscore guillotine. That's my Instagram. And you can catch my random nonsense at zombie ragdoll, Z-O-M-B, ragdoll. <laughs> Again, I mean, it is superb to see such dedication, such love for our fandom, for cosplayers everywhere. Before we go, guys, I'm, I know you guys have words of encouragement for our followers, for cosplayers, for people that are just starting out. What words of encouragement can you give to people out there that are struggling and maybe hitting that six-month wall and realize, do I want to do this anymore? What can you help say to them to make them realize that you can accomplish it? Just don't give up. Don't quit. It'll be worth it. Just trust us. I think just committing to it, like yes, it's hard at first, and I've, I've made this thing maybe like four times, because each time something goes wrong, but if you just keep at it, eventually, you know, you'll learn. It's trial and error, and look online for answers. The cosplay community is a family, and we help each other learn. And 
you know what? You can always keep trying. I bought this outfit as like a last minute thing and then we put it together as a trench coat and even a hat to go with it. So you can always turn anything into anything. Just keep at it. All right, guys, so words of wisdom, words of encouragement. We are a family. We are cosplayers united and always will be. I want to thank our three interviewers. I want to thank Maleficent. I want to thank Ursula. You still scare the living <laughs> heck out of me. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. I mean, this is a great day for a con. It goes one more day tomorrow, guys. Are you guys doing this again tomorrow? Oh, you're doing so Oh, so they have a surprise. So you guys come out tomorrow, you get a surprise if you're going to be here. So this is Goliath. Ursula and Ogie Bogie. We are signing off, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>